A membership tidal wave in the Conservative Party of Canada. That is according to Pierre Polyeva's team. They say that Mr. Polyeva has sold 311,000 plus memberships by the June 3rd deadline. That is remarkable. Now, we just had his one of his rivals, Patrick Brown, on who said, I've already sold more than 150,000. This is more than double that. So this would eclipse any record for conservative membership sales. As I said, 2017, Andrew Shear wins the leadership race, selling less than 10,000. So these numbers are they're in another world. So there's two questions. One, can they all be verified? And the vote efficiency, where are they breaking down? And will they actually translate into votes on September 10th? That's the deadline. Now, remember, the next conservative leadership is named through a ranked ballot. The winner receives more than 50% of the points. If that doesn't happen on the first ballot, the candidate with the least amount of points is eliminated. The points are split across all 338 electoral districts, the ridings. Each district is assigned 100 points, right? There's 100 points. So you get to get all the members to get all 100. Otherwise, it's broken down. You get points based on the percentage of each riding. So it's a, a real incentive to sign up as many members as you can across as many ridings as you can. So how confident is Mr. Polyev's campaign that all those memberships will translate into votes? Uh, and what do they think of the Brown numbers? Jenny Byrne joins me now. She's the CEO of Jenny Byrne & Associates, the conservative strategist, former senior advisor to Stephen Harper. She's now the senior advisor on Pierre Polyeva's leadership campaign. Jenny Byrne, good to have you back on the program. Now, you were listening to uh, Pat Brown earlier on our program, so we'll get to that in a minute. But can you give us the sense of your numbers, the 311,000 numbers, and where they're breaking down? Are they all concentrated in one area, or do you have a distribution across the country? No, we have a total distribution across the country. It's 311,958 memberships that we sold, Evan. And, and the reason we know that is because the party actually told all the campaigns. So we can go back to Patrick Brown, but the first lie that he told in your interview with him was that the party had not given the numbers. In fact, every campaign knew as of Saturday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern time how many memberships they had sold through their uh, membership uh, their membership sales uh, portal. So we, we sold these memberships across the country. And in fact, I have numbers here. I normally don't like to, to look down and read notes here, but I have numbers and I want to make sure Go that I get it. them. Yeah. So, so we tripled the membership with our sales, Evan, in Newfoundland and Labrador, New Brunswick, Quebec, Manitoba, Alberta, and BC. We doubled the membership in Nova Scotia, Ontario, Saskatchewan, Prince Edward Island, and the territories. And, and I figured that, that, that people would, uh, would bring up in terms of where the distribution is. So I want to give some examples. In the riding of Abitibi to Miskamin in, in Quebec, in the last leadership race, 47 people voted in the leadership race. We sold 230 members, memberships in that riding. In the riding of Madawasta Restigouche in northern New Brunswick, uh, Ed, Edmonston, uh, Edmonston, New Brunswick, we had an event later at, late in the leadership race. 91 people voted in the last leadership race, and we sold 271 uh, memberships. One more riding I'm going to tell you, Evan. Bonavista Buren Trinity in uh, Newfoundland and Labrador. 69 people voted there in the last leadership race, and we sold 322 uh, memberships. So we're extremely happy with the distribution. And I just want to say one more thing. Patrick, in his interview, brought up downtown Vancouver seats and how excited he was uh, about the membership sales. And we are thrilled about ours. To give an example, in the uh, riding of Vancouver Centre, we sold 921 memberships. In the riding of Vancouver Granville, we sold not 539 uh, membership. So we are extremely proud of the of the uh, people that we signed so, up to join the Conservative Party of Canada. Now, you know, Jean Charest is also saying, oh, we're going to win all 78 ridings in Quebec, and so does Patrick Brown. Uh, they've, their camps have told me off that actually you're barely signing up anybody in Quebec, that your claims are not verifiable. How about Quebec? Well, that's, that would be an absolute lie. We sold up, we signed up over 25,000 uh, members in Quebec in ridings like Vaudreuil Salon, Vaudreuil Salon, Solange, and I apologize to the Francophones uh, uh, listening. Uh, we sold over 700 memberships there in in, uh, in Pontiac, which is just, of course, uh, across the uh, across the Ottawa border from where you are right now, Evan. We sold over 800 memberships. So those claims might are either lies or wishful thinking. Okay, uh, Mr. Brown said he claims that. Uh, he wants everyone to release the list of all their members to all the campaigns. That's what's supposed to be. All campaigns, even a partial list or a full list, everyone should have a list of all the new members. And that the only camp, he says, that refuses to share the list of all their members with everybody else, not the final number, the list, is your camp. 
And his allegation is, why are you, because the number that you have is inflated. No, that's, well, it's a complete lie. That's obviously another lie by Patrick Brown and his advisors, because, Evan, what they do is, is what they do best is, is lie. Uh, the, there, we, we are, there is in no way the uh, Poly F campaign is against uh, giving out a full list of, uh, of memberships. But what the other, what the other campaigns are asking for is a partial list, which is, again, besides the point, it's completely against the rules. Uh, there's no ability to do a verification. Uh, every campaign has 72 hours uh, once they get the preliminary list of electors, the full list, uh, to do a verification uh, and to do a challenge period of those memberships. Uh, and so what the other campaigns are asking for now is a partial list, uh, which of course would, uh, uh, would, would benefit those campaigns, like the rest of the campaigns that are asking for this. It would benefit them because, of course, they didn't sell anywhere near the memberships that we did. So, so, okay, so I just want to get this clear. You're saying when Mr. Brown says, I've sold 150,000 memberships, you're outright saying that number is a lie, that he, when it push comes to shove, that he has not sold 150,000. Is that what you're saying? That's exactly what I'm saying. If, if he has sold and, that, at least the but number. But if you haven't verified, like, how would you know that? How would you, like, you haven't verified it. Uh, you don't know that. Why would you suggest he's lying about his number? Well, he's lied in the past, Evan. Like he lies about membership. He lies about this stuff in the past. And if he actually did sell 150,000 memberships, release the exact number. I just gave you exact numbers of what we sold uh, of what we sold nationally, as well as in the ridings. We have but, this. The party provided this to all campaigns. But he, but, so, but he's and he's but he, but Jenny, he's saying that you're not that your party. His allegation is there's no way that they've sold 311,000 uh, uh, members. That that's a lie. Well, he's wrong. Um, he will realize that uh, when the when all campaigns get the list, uh, we absolutely sold 311,000 memberships, 958. Um, and what Patrick Brown is doing is doing what he does best is is lie. One of the questions, Evan, I was surprised you didn't ask him was, uh, what's he going to do? Is he running for the leader of the Conservative Party? Is he running for the mayor of Brampton? Because pretty soon he's going to have to pick a lane, or is he going to try to run for both? Well, because August 19th is the deadline to file his papers to run as the mayor of Brampton. So we'll see how confident he is in, in, his, uh, uh, in his numbers and uh, his ability to win this leadership race. If, uh, well, well, we all, right. on August 19th, if at 1 p.m. he sneaks into the uh, and to City Hall at Brampton to file his papers. So I'm actually curious as well, to why no one's asking him, where, which lane? Are you running for the Conservative Party of Canada leadership or Mayor of Brampton? Well, I mean, he's got a couple of months to decide that. But, but let me just ask you a last thing. Um, I think the Conservatives had, in 2020, 270,000 members. So there's 270,000. If you add your 310, Thousand, and then you add Brown's 150,000. Well, these are all subject to verification. Mr. Charest, Mr. Aitchison, Mr. Baber, uh, Ms. Lewis's number. These, these are these are massive numbers for the party. Uh, everyone's claiming a lot of numbers. Do you think that Mr. Pauly ever has enough support with 311,000 plus to win on the first ballot? Well, I guess we'll see exactly what the other campaigns have have, uh, uh, have sold in terms of, uh, of, of where we're, what we're going to see in terms of the results. As I said, we're thrilled. 311,000 uh, memberships plus uh, is fantastic. And in, in fact, actually, Evan, at the start of the leadership race, uh, it was uh, approximately 142,000 current members of the Conservative Party of Canada. So what, uh, w that's why we have called on all the other leadership candidates to do what we have done uh, and mm -hmm. release their numbers. And we have told the party to absolutely uh, uh, release the number, uh, the, our portal numbers, even if our opponents don't. So, uh, Evan, if you want to call uh, the Conservative Party of Canada and ask them how much oh, oh. we sold through the, our membership portal, we have given them permission to say uh, how much we sold, which would verify exactly what I've just said today on TV. Yeah, and, and we, we will phone them, and we have phoned them uh, about this many times. Okay, Jenny Byrne, this is going to be a... Listen, I will say this, and I said this to Mr. Brown as well. These are astonishing numbers. I don't think we've ever seen numbers for, uh, for in any race like this, certainly not in a leadership race. Uh, Jenny Byrne, thanks for making time. Really appreciate it. Thank you.